Hi y'all, there's 12 slides that show the acronyms and then the video with demonstrations will begin. Okay, we're going to go through acronyms. First up is DP. DP stands for diamond painting. Next up, WIP, work in progress. Then we move on to AB for Aurora Borealis. There's special coating on the drills. DMC is an embroidery floss brand. We use their color coding system a lot. DAC is Diamond Art Club. JGS is Jaded Gym Shop. DPS is Diamond Painting Shop. XS is for cross stitch. ISO means in search of. Unicorn is a special kit that you want really desperately, but you haven't been able to find and you have to look all over the place, like Mercari, eBay, everywhere, and you just hope, hope, hope you find it. A rainy day kit. These are the kits that you have in your stash, but they're just extra special. They mean something really important to you. And so you hold off on doing them until if a special occasion or to give yourself a mental health pick-me-up. Okay, moving on to the terms that you need to know. First off, we're going to go right down the list of the um, sheet I made that's in the uh, OneDrive. Is your canvas. Canvas is this whole thing, or this whole thing, or anyone, the whole thing of it. The whole, all of it. All of it is your canvas, okay? Now, drills. Uh, drills are the diamonds, the beads, the gems, the whatever you want to call them. These are your drills. Okay, drills. Because when I was first starting watching YouTube and they were talking about drills, I was like, what are drills? I thought I was diamond dotting. Apparently we're diamond painting with drills. So, just an FYI. Okay, adhesive. When they're talking about adhesive, they're talking about the, uh, the glue that's been attached to your canvas that the uh, drills are going to actually st stick to. Now, I do not have a example of double-sided. This is what they call cord glue, okay? But I'll go over that when we get to it. Okay, when they're talking about the drill field, the drill field is only where you're actually going to place drills. So on this canvas, since it's a, uh, full, full, a full drill canvas, it's going to go all the way out to the edge of this, so like this rectangular, right? But the drill field on this partial is only the actual cat image. This is not your drill field because we're not drilling on it. The drill field is where the drills are going to go. Okay? Simple, simple. Okay, drill pin. If you done paint long enough, you're going to get a bunch of these. These are perfectly 100% capable of doing the job. You can, you can diamond paint with these. Are they the most comfortable? Not really. But I'm going to do one of these canvases of the four completely with only uh, the stuff that comes in the kit. Okay? Um, I probably will be a midnight cat, but we'll see. So these are, you know, your standard that comes from the thing like some of them get fancier than others but they're all generally the same they're all generally the same then we get into our, our fancy smancy stuff now you can get a set of three like this that are just a little bit bigger a little bit nicer have a little bit of a shape for I think I pay ten thirteen dollars for the set of the three I will link them below, okay? Um, on Amazon. So so you can you can level up for relatively inexpensive. That does not belong here. Then over on Etsy, they have shops that do uh, they take basically these pins and wrap them in resin, almost like they do the tumblers. I broke this one and I'm real sad about it because I had it personalized with my name on it. So I broke the placer clean off. And I have not managed to figure out how to get that out. Um, but you can get these around the $15-$20 somewhere in there. I don't even remember to be exact. But you can get these 
and they're just a little bit chunkier than this and you can get designs and be cute but they're not super expensive not super expensive right and then that's something completely different now we're getting into the fancy dancy this one and this one these are both from axe and iron and they're pretty, relatively expensive this one wasn't that bad i think this one was like 30 but this one with the flowers in it <laughs> woo, we won't talk about it and then this is one of the roll stop pans so this side here is flat so when you put it on your your table it won't roll off this one i think is from mk custom lathe works or something this is one of my favorites and then this one is from Norse Alchemist. Hers is expensive, but hers are my favorite. I just, I prefer the um, the way this one's turned. This is my favorite shape on the turning. Because as you look at these, they all look, they all look different turn styles. And when I was buying, I was making sure I was buying different. Because I wanted to see which one I liked. I like this one. <laughs> okay, and so like I said, you have different options for drill pants. Um, while I'm in here, over on Etsy, you can go to Pretty Placer and get this. It looks like just crown, but it's a wax crown. And this is real good for putting special drills or ABs on. It's fantastic. Worth it. Eight, nine dollars. And then, I don't think this is on my list, but we talk about these all the time. You'll hear people talk about them. This is a ceramic pin cutter. Okay, all this is is just a little bitty ceramic blade that is not going to cut me. It's not going to cut my canvas, but it is going to cut the plastic. And I think I got a set of three of these for like less than 15. I'm trying to link anything I can below, y'all. But so there's that in our little pin section. So that was drill pinned. Full drill canvas. This is a full drill canvas. I am doing the entire thing partial drill canvas this is a partial drill canvas i'm only doing partial a part a part of the whole partial full drill okay okay let's have a quick talk about special drills or special projects this is a fidget spinner that has adhesive with a clear coat over that i'm going to be able to pull up and then i will be able to take these beautiful special shaped drills apply where they're supposed to go and we'll have a diamond painted fidget, fidget spinner there's that then we have this journal or log book or it's just the journal but the cover has a mandala on it and it comes with drills dear jesus in heaven And you can get these in almost all the budget companies. I know Craftably sells stuff like this. Um, so we have these larger blue crystals. We have these beautiful pearls that are the circle. We have these beautiful blue pearlesque uh, teardrops. We have these uh, clear crystals. We have these large blue faceted crystals. We have these clear um, marquees. We have the clear round drills. We have clear like a teal uh, crystals, and then the topaz. And so these will all be placed on that, and it'll be lovely. They also have things like sticker sets. Like these are just some random stickers. I thought it was cute. It said the Volkswagen Buzz and the uh, cassette tape and the sneaker. But these are actually just using regular drills on the stickers. Still considered a special. Okay. Then they have things like this. This is a greeting card. This is a happy birthday card. Or no, Valentine's Day card. How is that a Valentine's Day card? When it's got, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, and it has all the special drills in here. Now these have, and they have full, they have canvases that normally come in like the size of the flowery cast that have like uh, all these special type drills. 
that you're doing as like a partial. You don't do the whole entire canvas. So like this one, oh, we have some pretties. So we have red crystals. We have a little larger yellow. We have the clear. We have the topaz. We have a pretty blue. We have green. We have a different, uh, like a champagne. This is a pink. And we have purple. Then we have stars. Little yellow star shape. And they will go on this. I don't understand how I have a birthday kitty on a Valentine's Day card, but I, it is what it is. So those are special projects. And when they're talking about special drills, it's that they're not the circle, the round, they can be various shapes, they can be various sizes, they can be cr all crystals, above and beyond your square, your, your round, or your ABs. That's special drills. Okay. Oh, and I, I even have these pretty Valentine gnome stickers. But they just have regular drills to go in on them. And then, so like once you complete, this is the a set of the stickers I've done. You just I just diamond painted them like they were. So these are all textured with the drills on them. Super cute. Really fun to do with kids. We're done with page one, y'all. Let's go on to page two. Okay, kit. Kit means that when you order it, everything you need to diamond paint is going to be in there. Now, the reason that is important <laughs> is you can buy just a canvas, especially over at uh, Heaven and Earth Designs, and they're like, I think it's their Crown Royal, or their, you can buy just a canvas, and they don't come with drills. You can buy drills by themselves. So when you see the, it's the art kit, that means you're going to get the tools, you're going to get the canvas, you're going to get the drills. And whenever you're ordering, you always need to read the fine print. Read the fine print. I know that someone the other day, I guess, ordered a um, cross-stitch conversion from J to Jim Shop, thinking they were going to get a printed image, not realizing that it's a blank canvas that you have to count to do. So we'll go over that too in a minute. Okay. So that's kit. Kitting up. We're going to do that real quick because I can do real easy. Kitting up. What we're doing. Did I have the word train on here? Before I do this. So whenever you hear someone say a train, this is a train. It's where all the drills are attached together. This is a train. This is a train. So this kit came with two trains, a grand total of 11 colors. All kitting up is, is kitting up, is taking, gosh, shoot you darn, where's my scissors? Um, these aren't the ones I wanted, but they'll work. Check to make sure my, making sure that, my microphone is still on. We pour these out of these heat sealed bags into some kind of storage container. Um, we're going to label them. I got these little labels at Walmart the other day. Let's see. Did I bring a pen? Okay, I'm going to put that there. This one is A11. A11 is the carrot. Of course, I didn't bring a writing pen. I brought everything else but that. Everything else. So then on the label, I'm just going to do the carrot. I'm going to write A11. Okay. This one is a 10. A 10 symbol is the minus sign. So I'm going to do minus and I'm going to write a 10. Stick this on top. Open the lid. Take the drills. Pour this right on in here. Okay. 
This is nine. Nine is the up arrow. Right? Up arrow. And that would be a nine. Um, <laughs> Diamond Dots does not use the DMT code. This is their own color code. Um, so uh, they, it does not align with the people who use the uh, DMC code, which we'll go over later. And I just got these little packages, these little containers, at the Dollar Tree. A8 is the X. So we're going to go X. I'm going to say A8. Um, I just got these at Dollar Tree, and it was six for a dollar, or six for a dollar twenty-five, whatever you want to call it. And so, considering I only have eleven. Colors. I didn't want to use one of my good storages for 11 colors. I was like, mm, no, I'm good. I'm good. So I got this, and then I put it in a dollar store tray, and 12 of them fit perfectly in there. So I can use one to fold my trash. So look at me go. Look at me go. So this is kidding up. Some people find kidding up very therapeutic. Some people hate it. Some people will pay to have their kits come, like from Jaded Gym Shop, already kitted up. Because they don't want to do it. I said this was what? What was this? Seven? So seven is the square. I always write whatever the color code is on my labels with um, the symbol. Just in case I am not knowing what the hell I am <laughs> true. <laughs> So A6 is the L, it's boxy L, and that's A6, and that's just for me, because I'm like, what if I am crazy one time, you know, it could happen, and I'm already dropping drills, good night, Summer, good night. Okay, where about the lid? I think I lost the lid. That's backwards. Okay. So five is five is a push pin. Push pin. And push pin is a five, I said. I don't know why I didn't forgot that in ten seconds. A4 is the circle. Don't laugh at my little pictures either. I know. I know. It's alright. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just need to know what it is. A three is the backslash. I wish they would not waste so much. Like, why do we have to have this big of a bag for this little bit of stuff? Stop, stop killing the environment, people. Let's, let's, come on. Okay, now I got these all over me. Get me out. A little bit of static there. Okay, don't have any more. Hello, come out. Run the knees there. Okay. There's that one. Now we're down to A2 and A1. So A2 is a plus sign. And I have Minecraft, no, this is T, A1, right? And I'm going to put trash on this one. 
I have an extra container. There's that. There's that. There's that. Oh, that. Okay, so a two, which is this guy, sir. I'm having one of those days, y'all. Okay, there's no reason to be rude. I'm like, am I staticky? What is the problem going on here? I am more of this gray. Get back in the bucket. That's a two. I think I got it all. Nope, there's another one. It's like my... It's like I'm staticky, not the drills. It's the craziest thing I've seen in a minute. Oh well, it should have given me extra. I'm not exactly sure I'm not... I have not done a full Diamond Dots kit. This will be a first for me. Trash, I don't need you. But this one I need. Okay. So, we were just kitting up. And now we have kitted up this canvas. So these drills are kitted up and ready to go. All right. Where'd my paper go? That's kitting up. So we did kitted up. We did kitted up. Now kitting down. Kitting down is literally the reverse of that. I am going to empty these containers so I can use them again. That's all it is. Now what you do with the leftover drills is completely up to you. Some people save them and have very, very detailed systems of how they have all their extra deal extra drills stored by dmc number then by shade and it's a lot i just i normally keep them until i do a review video i keep them in a bottle like this once i'm done the video they get poured into a vase and i'm still trying to figure out what i'm supposed to do with them now because my vase is full I'm like, am I supposed to just, it's just a lot of plastic to throw away. So I'm trying to figure out some other craft or something I can do with them. So I don't feel like I'm being that wasteful. I, but I do not have the time or the inclination to sit around and catalog and organize all these extra drills. So once you're done with that, that's kitted down. That means I'm done with, I'm done with the yak part. It's, oh, it's already kitted down means I've already done that. Okay, round drill versus square drill. Let me try that again. Okay, so these squares here, these are left over from a round drill kit. A round drill kit. Um, they measure about 2.7, 2.8 millimeters. These are squares left over from an Oraloa kit. They measure about 2.5 millimeters. All they're saying if it's a round drill is it has the circle ones. If it's square drills, the drills are shaped in squares. These, because they're slightly bigger, are going to have less actual drills per square inch because they're bigger. You're going to have more with the, the square. Now, what does that mean for you? What does that mean for you? Square drills can be sometimes difficult for the newbie to master. I'm going to tell you that right there. Sometimes square drills can be hard for everybody. Sometimes People prefer square drills. Like my daughter, she would straight up did not want anything to do with round drills when square drills from start to finish. These tend, the kits with the round drills tend to go by faster than a square drill. But the square drill kits, because the drills are actually smaller and fit together more tightly, tend to give you better detail. So round, square, all we're talking about is the shape of the actual drill and you have to know that this drill is bigger than this drill by about 0.1 or about by 0.2.3 millimeters that's tiny okay so round versus square drills that's it hold on okay i just wanted to do a quick little uh demonstration there are 10 
square drills and 10 round drills. They're all touching, they're all aligned, and do you see that it's like a whole extra drill and some change in the same amount of drills butted together. So the size is very different and it matters. Now we jumped ahead earlier and I already discussed what a train is. Okay, this is my box of trays. So there are tons of different types of trays. These are the types of trays you're going to find in like your generic kits. They're going to be like this or like this like white mossa. This was the uh, diamond dot. They're very small um, but they're ridged so that when you're like this is a uh, diamond art club square or a white one you're going to shake your drills in them like that and then tap 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 if you want and it's going to help you get your drills all nice and lined up. Okay, but generic, these are coming in, um, like I said, this is a Mossa. This is a brand Mossa that you can find all over the place. This is the Diamond Dots tray. These are the Diamond Art Club trays. Um, the Distracted by Diamond has like this, but it's smaller normally. But these are a set of a whole bunch I got off of Amazon. I think they're like 9 or 12 and they're nested so they have them in different sizes that all fit in here and the lid and the bottom are both ridged that you can use as tray. I use these as my trash keepers um, for kits when I'm uh, working. This is just a generic that came in an accessory kit. It's a little bit larger than the Diamond Art Club kit, uh, tray. Okay, This is another generic one that has the trap door at the end so even a little bit larger than that uh, this is the dreamer designs tray it's even larger than this one and this one i have from dreamer designs it has a like a gate the gate slides in and out right here at the top so you can and it's got a cute sparkle. It's um, branded. So there's that set. Hold on, let's keep on going. I gotta grab this. Now, over here, now these are my mini mats. These are the 3D printed trays. This is the large, this is the small. It's quite a big difference. I thought I was going to prefer the large. A lot of people do. Uh, they come with the lid and the stopper if you want. I think you can get them without, but I, I just got the full set. The stopper comes out like this, drops back in. Um, so I have these two large ones. But I actually prefer the smaller one. This is actually Trindy's favorite uh, tray. This kit is from Bella Art Day Nicole. It also has a lid. The lid fits differently. I kind of like that. It has a stopper as well that it just pulls out like that. Um, this is the Max tray from Bella Art Day Nicole. This lid slides in like this. Also has the pull out uh, stopper there. And then the uh, butterfly tells you it's uh, Bella Art Day Nicole. Uh, this is a uh, part of the kit that the kids is actually letting me keep. Uh, this was actually a three part. I had two this size and one when I set them like side by side like this, fit on it that was exactly the same color. Also has a stopper. Also has my hair stuck to it or something. What is that? Yeah, that's my hair. And um, so this is just a little. Um, this is another one of the Bella Art Dana Coles. It does not have a stopper or a lid. It's just like, I think they're like their basic kit or their basic tray. It's also 3D printed. This is my go-to. And I think it's because it's the first ever... Uh, specialty tray I ordered. I ordered this off Etsy from Nix's Notions. There it is, Nix's Notions. Um, and it's the Tall Boy. And I like this one because it is, let me see if I can get lower to show you. The, there's, it's a lot taller walled. So, When you're looking in there, you can see that there's a lot more depth in this one. So if I shake or some, I, I blump, 
it doesn't spill as much. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, it's a personal preference. There's other trays that I have not purchased from yet. There's cat proof trays. There's um, Firefly. There's there's so many people on Etsy selling specialty trays. And it's, once again, these are electives. You do not need all of these. You can very, very easily use these and get the job done. But you have options. Therefore, trays, electives. So we are now moving on to wax. Here's my here's my thing. So we have wax. We have all kinds of we have all kinds of wax. That's putty. That's wax. That's wax. That's wax. That's wax. That's wax. That's wax. So I have blue. I have purple. I have my specialties. I have the pink. Oh, you know what I don't have out here? Yeah, I'm not clear. Okay, what is this one? There's diamond dots. Here's an unknown, but it's in a caddy. Here's a craftably. This is a Dreamer Designs. So that's a Dreamer Designs. Okay. So, first things first. Every, almost any kit is going to come with wax. Now, what we're going to discuss about wax is those next three words on the list. Opaque, transparent, and translucent. Those are important when it comes to wax. When I put this over this, I can see through it. I can read all of that. When you put this over, you can see it. Correct? Correct. I'm going to show you some differences. When you put this one over, can you read the writing underneath? No, you cannot. Mm -hmm. This is clear plastic. If I put this over, you can read the writing underneath. This is transparent. This is translucent. This is opaque. I can see everything through it. Trans. Parent. Translucent. Allowing light but not detailed shapes to pass through. So, I can still read this but it's not as clear. Correct? Translucent. Opa opaque. Unable to see through in opposition to transparent or translucent. I cannot see through this. Okay. There's also something you need to know. The more opaque your wax, the better it will be. The more translucent the wax, the cheaper it is. So then we have our specialty wax. So this wax, this wax, and this wax, these are all scented waxes from Patty Wax. These are scented waxes. From Randa's Crafty Corner. That is Autumn Wreath, and this is Chocolate Mint. Then we have Tutti Fruity. This is the Poly Juice Potion. And what is this one? This is not scented. This is just the uh, super sticky patty wax. Then we have a putty here from uh, Nix's Notion. Uh, it, it was too sticky for me. I did not like it. But I like the bottle. And it smells good. It smells like love spell. Um, now, my favorite right now is, oh, you can also use this. You can use this. Or you can use this. These are all um, types of putty um, that you can get. This is $1.25 at Dollar Tree. It works. Do be careful because the blue 
doesn't always, but can sometimes leave blue residue. Okay, this you can get almost anywhere. I got this on Amazon, I think it's $4. Uh, museum putty. Basically, this is the scented putty like you get from all the wonderful ladies who do a great job, but it has no scent. But this is my new favorite. This is the Edison R&D Mounting Putty. I got this off Amazon, a whole bunch of it for $7, no residue at all. And it's perforated. I've been using it. So see, when I want to pull off a little bit, one square is more than enough to fill my seven placer. Yeah, buddy. So, and then on my single placer, I am a glue dot person. If you didn't know or you want to try glue dots, they have these little sets of 36 glue dots at the Dollar Tree. I strongly suggest cutting one of these size of glue dots in half or force before you try to load it in your pan. I prefer the glue dot minis. A lot of people prefer the glue dot micros, but I like the minis and they're the 3 16th of an inch. And I feel like one of these squished down into my single uh, brass placer is perfect. Perfection. This is what I like. So, whew, we did wax, we did opaque, we did transparent, we did translucent, we did putty, we did glue dots. Rivers and bubbles, we are going to have to go do that online because I don't have a double sided adhesive kit here. Confetti. All right, I'm going to bring you closer down to this. Okay, so say we sessioned this piece right here off. And we'll go over what sectioning is later. Now, do you see that there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of the hyphens? And then we were done with it and we have to change. As opposed to big blocks of the other colors. This is color blocking, that's confetti. Think of confetti as if, you know, what confetti looks like. You throw it out and it's just little pieces all over the place. Confetti. Color blocking, confetti. Okay? And after color blocking, we're looking at line blocking. This kit is a really good example of line blocking. This row is all the same color. The next row next to it. We got another color here. And see how it's lines of the same color. That would be line blocking. Okay. Got to get to the next page. Okay, hold on one second. Time for cover minders. Okay. Cover minders, cover minders. Okay. Cover minders come in all shapes and sizes. All kinds of different things you can get. Um, all your diamond art club kits come with cover minders. Um, apparently the Pam's diamond painting came with cover minders. Um, I think... I, cover minders come with a lot of the premium kits, uh, but not all. So, like this, 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 and this, all of these cover binders, they came from Diamond Art Club. Oh, and this one, and this one, Diamond Art Club. Okay, this came from Pam, Pam Diamond Paintings. This one, this one and this one, I believe, came from Patty Wax over on Etsy. I love my cow and the Santa hat. And then these came from Cover Minders by Shabon. 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 Sorry, I can never say her name. I love her color mind, her cover minders. The fancy. The fancy, fancy. So, in case you're unaware of how a cover minder works or what they're for. A cover minder is used, it's comprised of something cute <laughs> with a magnet on the back with a second magnet. See, and it will jump to it. What we're going to do is we're going to take the magnet that's not party and we're going to put it underneath that, right? Then we're going to lift up the protective plastic and we're going to use the pretty to hold this back and it's going to just magnetically attach to that and it's going to hold it up out of the way for us and it looks pretty. This is where we get fancy. Now, you do not have to use cover minders. They are extras, electives. They are elective. You don't have to use them. 
FYI, though, you will get some for free if you buy premium kits. Okay. Cross stitch conversion is our next thing, and I need to discuss that with you over on the uh, computer. So, boop. Okay. A cross stitch conversion. A cross stitch conversion, like we can go to uh, jdgymshop.com and we can click uh, on the cross stitch conversion here. Right now, she's having a 25% off sale for uh, Princess Galore. Okay. So, click on this. We come down here. And um, this collection is home to all custom invoices created for creative, creatively stitching drill orders. To get your in, uh, custom invoice, kindly email her, or you can um, so you can do any kit you want. But these are the ones she has teamed up with Amanda over at Creatively Stitching to do. So the, she has like all these uh, uh, princess panels. But what you need to understand is this is what the canvas is going to come looking like. This is what your canvas is going to look like. It is all blank. Now, the reason for that is you're going to be using a cross stitch pattern to, uh, a counted cross stitch pattern to figure out which glue. Which drills go where? So if we go back here, now she's teamed up. So like I have ordered, where is she? Where is she? I have ordered this one. Avatar full set of drills, stickers, and blank canvas. So I am going to get all the blank canvas for this. All of the, the drills needed to do this and the stickers to label my drill containers. Okay. If I only wanted the drills, it would be 105. If I only wanted the canvas, it would be $35.99. If I only wanted the sticker sheet with symbols, it would be $8. I'm buying it as a bulk set. And, but I still don't know where any of this stuff goes, right? Where, which drills go where? Well, she has right here chart link and it gives you the address to the um, pattern that you are purchasing. So I'm actually there, but I'm just going to go here. So we're going to go boop. So I've already purchased the kit, but now I have to come over here and purchase the pattern. Okay. So this comes with five different files that tells us all the colors we need for the kit. Hello. It's going to be this design as large as this is. Okay. This is what the sizing would be if we were doing it in an actual cross stitch. I could use this pattern to do any of these sizes with cross stitch but because amanda and jade have teamed up jade already knows all of this information and i don't have to do nothing else and i've already purchased this and downloaded the file so you get uh, five file types and it is a 140 by 432 stitches okay now the five files let me see if i can pull that up real quick here, the on the mic files. No, not there. That's not cross conversion. Okay, so it's going to give you the black and white pattern, the colored version of the pattern. PK stands for uh, pattern keeper version. This is the size and chart. And this is the read me first, please. So these were the, the file, the file, the five uh, downloads you'd get once you paid the $21 at, on Etsy at Creatively Stitching. So now I have all of these downloaded to my computer and on my, um, what do you call it? My um, tablet. And I have ordered this to come. Or, I mean, Jade still has to order it, but this is coming. This will be 
the canvas, the drills, and the stickers for labels for my drill containers. Isn't she pretty? I'm so excited. And there are a ton of these that you can pick from. And you can basically do almost any cross stitch pattern onto a blank canvas. There's many companies that um, have the, the service where you can, you know, send in. Um, I just know that um, Jade has already teamed up with Creatively Stitching. I knew I wanted to do one of the panels. And this was the easiest. I didn't have to think about it option. And I needed to hurry up on it because the cross stitch conversion event is happening. I believe it starts October 15th and it is currently June. And it can take up to 12 weeks. If you look here at the top of this, it, all orders take three to 12 weeks to ship currently as everything is customized to order. So I want to make sure that if it takes that 12 weeks or even a little bit longer in case there's another issue, you know, that I'll have my kit in time. I, this is not something you want to put off. Uh, this is something you want to make sure you give yourself plenty of time. I have never waited 12 weeks for a kit from Jade, and I've ordered a few, but I would rather be safe than sorry. So this is what we're talking about on a cross-stitch conversion. Basically, you are going to be taking drills, placing them on a full blank white canvas according to the pattern on Pattern Keeper, and we'll be going over Pattern Keeper later on in this video. Next up on our list of terms is the Elizabeth Ward storage system. This is basically a term that means this type of storage system. Uh, the brand is actually either non-existent or going non-existent, but it has these two latches that hold the tray on, or lint on the tray, and the tray is actually fairly, it's not that deep, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not too deep, but it comes with um, this large, medium, small, and mini size containers. So you can basically custom configure your system with how many drills you have that need to go in. Okay. Oh, and they open, I'll show you what the empty one. So, and they open on the side here. And they go all the way back, which really like that. You can also take it off and put it back in. They have these ridges here that keep them from sliding around in the, the grooves on the tray. Elizabeth Ward storage. Okay, after Elizabeth Ward, we're moving to Tic Tac containers. Tic Tac containers. Tic Tac containers are basically exactly what it sounds like. These little containers that look like your Tic Tacs, the little investments that you buy at the grocery store. Now, Tic Tac containers come in two sizes, this and then this. So this is like two of these. So what you can do is you can mix and match your storage. So like if you only need a few, you can use a small, but if you need more, you can use the one that's double, the larger size. I'm going to be hitting up this, uh, the, the, the pretty flowery cow in the Tic Tac containers because I have this top, the little bottles over there for you for this guy. I'm going to do Tic Tac containers there and then Elizabeth storage for Ray and possibly <sighs> these are the screw top bottle storage. Now these come in different carrying cases, but I like this little compact thing. All these are is clear plastic bottles that have a screw top lid. That is it. I like this. They have those big suitcases. I'll insert a picture here. I mean, and you can get them where they're like tons and tons. I prefer the cute little tiny plastic uh, clear box with the little cake. I don't care about this, but I like the fact that it's compact. Because I tend to have three to ten kits kitted up that I'm either working on or are ready to go or I'm using them to film something or so I don't want big bulky things everywhere. So I like mine very streamlined. There's also not on the list, but an option 
And I don't know why I forgot to put this on the list. Probably because I'm crazy. If they're talking about Harbor Freight containers, this is the kind of containers they're talking about. It's a 25 piece, 20 feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Yeah, because there's 24 of the boxes, and the boxes are little bitty flip top boxes that have a little latch. And 24 go in here, but at Harbor Freight, they count this as 25. So it's a 25 piece set at Harbor Freight. These run about $6 a piece. I don't love them. Some people swear by them because of the price. I have found that I much prefer these little, I call these the squeezy sides. You squeeze the sides, the top pops open. And it's 30 cubes in here. Um, and I like the fact that the tray is divided with a line right there. So um, it keeps everything nice and tidy, and it's a very compact. And um, I like it a lot better on the size. I paid $9.99 for two of these. I would have paid, uh, well, $5.99. So I didn't pay $12 for these, and I paid $10 for these. But I like these better. Just saying. I don't have to thump the bottom of these make sure I'm not spilling drills everywhere. So, Squeezy two, uh, Cubes is what I call the one. I don't remember the name, but I'll link it below. And Harbor Freight Containers there. Now, you can always just kit out of little plastic baggies. Um, sometimes your kit, will cut, or your kit will come with the drills already in a plastic bag. And a lot of people will just work right from there. So, those are all our storage containers. I need to add those to the list. Stab and grab. If someone says they are doing a stab and grab, normally that means they have missed a drill or two. And all they're going to do is they're going to take their pen. Oh, shoot. I think it's me that's staticky. They're going to take their pen that has, um, you know, like I have a glue dot in here, stab in here, grab one drill, and place it. Stab and grab. They are not going to pour these all out into a tray and shake it. No, we're just going to grab one of these out and go. Stab and grab. Okay. <laughs> stab and grab. Jim's Flow app. Okay. Oh, okay. Say hello to the tablet. So this is an Amazon tablet that I have Joe broke. Um, if you guys need a video on that, so you can like, you know, do stuff that you can get on Google Play, um, let me know and we'll talk about me making a video for that. Um, Jim's Flow app is this one looks like the little diamond. So what this is, is basically an electronic logbook. This is all of the kits that I have in my stash. Don't talk about it. It's not even all of them because I haven't updated it. These are all the kits I'm currently working on. That doesn't have anything because it doesn't have the cat and it doesn't have the cow. But this, 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 okay, those are my career whips. These are on hold. These are completed and kept. This is completed and gave away. Now, you can also keep an inventory of your drills. So, like, if you buy drills, like ABs or whatever, you can keep track of how many you have in this system. And you can go from round to square to special to crystal round, crystal square, or crystal special. Okay. Wish list. These are um, canvases I want and I did not want to forget I want. Like, I want to get the pride canvas. Okay? I think she's beautiful. And I really like the Anastasia. So this is where I can keep just a wish list. This needs to be updated. I think I have some of these. 
so this is just a place where you can have um, your wish list right there. If you want to do a custom DP, you can order one here. I've not used this company. I'm not sure. I would go with Judy Gym Shop myself. Store. This is a store. They sell stuff. Never use them. Not sure how it works. I basically stick my little butt over here at projects. And now, when you're going into this, one of these I did real super specific. Was it... Mm. Nope. Okay, let me take you closer. So, looking at this, we have the picture of the image, which is This is Warm Witch by Ivy Dolomore uh, from Diamond Art Club. Is that Ivy Dolomore? I believe so. So, um, I can change the project image, I can set the colors, I can add more images, I can log the time, I can add how many hours I work on it. So like I could say I worked on it today from 220 to whatever, at, and then I can view hours and it will have a list of all the hours I worked on it. I, I am not that involved in my logging. Okay, down here. Project name, warm witch, project status, completed and gifted. I gave this to my cousin Shelly. Size, 22 by 29 inch, 55 by 72 and a half centimeter. Number of colors is 40. Total cost spent was $54.99. Obtained from DAC. Drill type is round, full drill. Now, that is not our only option. So, I hit that button to edit. So, you give it the name. You can put the image there. You put the size in there. It's a number of colors. You put where you come. You can even put the URL you got it from. You can put your price, your shipping costs, your tax, the drill type. Is it a full drill or a partial? Um, the status, if sold, how much did you pay for it? You can set the date you ordered it, set the date you received it, set the date you started it, set the date you finished it. You can do notes and then you can rate it. So, this is the Gems Flow app. A lot of us use it. I basically use it for inventory control. That's basically it. While I have you here, Pattern Keeper. If you are going to be participating in the, okay, I don't know if I can show that whole thing. Um, if you're participating in the um, cross stitch conversion, you'll most likely be using Pattern Keeper. And I think I can show a partial. And this will tell you, this is how you are going to be doing your colors on your blank canvas. It has your legend over here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there will be more videos about cross stitch on other channels. This is not what this is about. But this is Pattern Keeper. Um, since we're going to wraps, I thought I'll throw that in here. Um, and if you guys do need me to do a video on how to jailbreak your Amazon device uh, tablet, let me know. <laughs> Let me know. We can do that. Okay. Let's see. What's next up? What is next? Logbook journal. Now, we're going to go, when we get to the journalism class, we are going to talk about if you actually do need a logbook or journal. You don't have to have one. It's completely 100% up to you. Now, I log a lot of things, but this is my diamond painting finishes. This is basically as just the, if I have finished it, this is the first one I finished of January. Um, this was my second finish of January. Then I moved on to these specials. This was my uh, first finish of, no, fourth finish of January. Then I moved on to February, or no, it's still January. This is February. Uh, February, I don't have a picture for that one. February, one of these I can't show you. February, March, 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 April, this one I can't show you, May, 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 this is, I messed up and I put it going wrong, it, 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 it's a long story, but so May, same picture, May, May, June, this is my last finish that's in here when I'm making this video. So these are only ones I've finished. That's as simple as you can do it if you want to. You can use the Gems Flow if you want to. A lot of people 
keep really, really detailed. Detailed. If you want to see some uh, crazy, like it's not like crazy. I mean, like bad. I'm talking like holy moly, cool. Like Joan Diamond paints. Well, so much stuff about her stuff. Like I, I do not have the time nor patience for all that. I'm just, it's not that important to me. Um, a lot of people, you guys have seen me that like I'm more concerned about. I log my finishes there. I log my videos in my happy planner. And I log my reading. Um, but like, I don't know if you've ever been over at Diamonds and Washi and seen her logbook journal. She has lots and lots of notes for each thing because she gives such detailed post reviews. I have my little notes that I do for my post reviews, but I don't always put them in my logbook because I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do it. When I set up this design, my whole purpose for this was at the end of the month or the end of the year when I'm doing my post, my month in review and my year in review, everything was in chronological order and super easy and I wasn't having to rifle through anything. I have since then thought, well, crap, now I have this other stack of papers where I have my little pro-con list for each kid I do so I can remember to tell y'all. And I'm like, maybe, maybe I should do some... I'm, I'm going to have to find some system. I might. It's a lot. It's a lot. But you can do it as much or as little as you want. It's yours to do with as you want. Okay. Now we're talking to hitchhiker or stowaway. There was actually one in one of these. Okay. Inside this uh, jar, you'll see that it's supposed to be on the yellows. There is a brown drill in here. That whole guy is a hitchhiker or a stowaway, depending on who you're listening to talk. He doesn't belong. That's the only thing that is. It's a hitchhiker or stowaway is a one color drill who has jumped ship and is in a set of drills he does not really belong in. And I saw him earlier and I didn't pull him just for that. Okay. Whip and chat. Okay, we already went over what a whip is, a work in progress. A whip in chat, or a kid up in chat, or something in chat. All that means is your content creator is going to be doing a thing. So if it's a whip, they could be diamond painting, they could be painting, they could... Whatever their current work in progress is. While they just sit there and chat to you. Now, you can use that as time to, like... Uh, do errands, you can work on your own uh, something at the same time, um, use it as a podcast, you can watch what they're doing, it's up to you. Basically, it's just 30 minutes to an hour-ish of them basically talking to themselves, but directing at you. And um, a lot, most of us that listen to you, Whip and Chats or Kid Up and Chats, um, they are basically podcasts, so we know what's going on in our uh, favorite content creators' lives. Like, um, Shade has a really good weekly whip and chat. So does Katie over at Diamonds and Washi. One of my favorite things is the car vlog with Susie. Uh, she just cracks me up. But, I mean, it's just a whip and chat. It's just a, a segment that we all kind of create where we sit down and we're working and just talk to you about anything. We can talk to you about our lives. We can talk to you about events coming up. We can talk to you. Just about anything. And it's, it, it's totally random. You never know. So, moving on. Sticker sheet. Sticker sheet is this. This is uh, a Diamond Art Club one. This is from one of our kits we'll be using. It tells you the name of the kit, the artist. You can have a place to put your start and end date. as a picture of your image. The information about your image. And it comes with these pre-cut individual labels to go on your drill containers. This is the desired thing for most diamond painters to come with their kit. Next up, inventory sheet. This is one from DIY Moonshop. And this is, once again, the symbol for the, the, the color that's going to be on the canvas on the drill field. The DMC number, but it's the sum. And so this is how many uh, drills I need to do it. So this has quantity. The sticker sheet does not. Now, some people 
prefer this. Some people prefer this. I prefer both. No one has given me both. So I tend to, if I get this, I don't get mad at it. I'm kind of happy. I make my own sticker sheets. I have a video up there uh, from, I think, like the 14th, 13th sometime. Um, but it was one of those where I was just making one quickly. Um, when we get to the course later on in this uh, Diamond Painting Summer School um, called Graphic Design, there will be a much more detailed with pre like printed out, like you could typed up instructions that you can print out at your house and follow along with. And I will be happy to answer questions to uh, help modify it to whatever you have. I have a PC. I do not have a Mac and I do not know how to use a Mac. So if you have a Mac, I'm sorry you're on your own. But I can show you how to do it on PC. So this is the inventory sheet. It's normally printed on regular paper. And people tend to prefer the sticker sheets. I kind of like making my own. I kind of like making my own. We all have the things we're extra about. I'm extra about that. Okay. Legend. The legend or schematic or whatever. That's this right here on the side. We have a legend here. 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 So these did not come with sticker sheets or inventory sheets. They came with the legends here. Now we saw earlier in this video that I labeled these with the little symbol, with the little symbol and the number. We saw that, right? Well, on this kit, it has 25 colors. I am going to just do one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever it is to eight, and then A through whatever on these labels and put them on the Tic Tac containers. And the reason I chose to do it is because these are alphanumeric. I don't have to really get crazy. I am, so for the st other stuff, I'm going to use the uh, stickers provided. But this is, the alphanumeric are super easy to get up. So, uh, there's that. Roller or brayer. Okay, people in the diamond painting world <laughs> call this a roller. I call this a brayer from the art world. Now, mine is a little bit more hefty than what you will find in like a diamond painting accessories kit. Basically, it is uh, something that you go like this over uh, for diamond painting. You're going to use this to set your drills in place after you place them to like make sure they're real good down there. Um, in the art world, this has a lot of different purposes. I, I do a lot of painting with this. Um, and I have them in different state different sizes, weights, and um, materials. So that is a as you as you'll most likely find them in the diamond painting world called a roller. You can also look for a brayer, and you might be able to find it at a different cost because if it's not listed as a diamond painting tool, it might not be. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just saying if it's not considered a specialty tool. Sectioning. Okay, I'm gonna grab, take a flight from Jaded Gym Shop up real quick. When they talk about when they talking about sectioning, this is what they mean. I mean you are creating sections on your canvas to make it more manageable to work with. So you're doing a section at a time. These sections can be as big or as small as you want. It is up to you. It. Some of us. Are a little bit crazy and we like measure ours with rulers and do but you don't have to um, prepping your canvas when they people are talking about prepping their canvas uh, they're talking about putting washi tape or whiteboard tape or some kind of tape around the perimeter of the drill field to keep gross stuff out of the glue that extends past the edge of the drill field. It happens, trust me, it's nasty. So when we say you're going to prep your canvas, you're just getting it ready so that when you're working on it, you're not making it ew. ew. Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Light says it best. you got to keep the icky out your sticky. I love how she says it. It's just the best way, it's the best way to say it. Okay, washi tape. You got washi tape. 
washi tape, you're going to get washi tape uh, typically from almost all of the uh, premium companies now. You're going to get a roll of two of washi tape. It's going to come with your kit. You can also buy washi tape online. You can buy at Amazon. You can buy it at Joann's, Michael's, all those places. It comes in different size, different shapes, different stuff. Um, and you use this to section, prep, whatever. They have these at the Dollar Tree. Um, I like this size to if my if my uh, multi-placer is not fitting in my pin right, I wrap this little bitty washi around it and then it'll it holds it in. Speaking of that, I forgot to go over these when I went over pins. This is my box of placers. So on the, the I like the single brass placers, which are these. So when I get them from on those little cheapy pins, I pull them and put them in here. This is two through four sizes. No, two through yeah, two through two four. This is five through eight. This is nine, ten, eleven, and this is twelve and above. And these are straighteners over here, and my little things that go on the middle ones. And um, I just keep them in here, and then that's how I organize them. This thing comes out. It's a two drawer system. I don't know where I put the other part of it. Um, so washi tape, blah blah blah. This is like from Jaded Gym Shop. Um, I am not big. Oh, I found the other piece of it. This is the other piece of that thing. I am not a fan of just straight washi tape. I prefer the whiteboard tape. It is a lot less expensive. I had had this left over from when my kids were younger. Then I found this and I just did this recently. So I have different colors and not just black. As you saw the yellow on the take a flight canvas. This is like, I got 14 rolls for like, I don't even remember how much it was. But like, so these are 55 yards and there's three feet in a yard. So that's 150, 100, 165. That's where I'm at. It's 165 feet per roll. Okay, so that's washi. Okay. Training wheels. Training wheels. Training wheels. Oh, doesn't have it. Hold, please. Okay. So on this, where you see that there is a circle around the symbol, that is what we're referring to as training wheels or guide circles. That means if you place a drill exactly where that little circle is, it should be perfect placement. Um, it's used mostly a lot for beginners who are not exactly sure exactly where to place it. It just it it just helps them learn. Um, so that is what guided cir guide circles or training wheels are. Symbol. The symbol is basically the symbol. So the symbol here is the little L. So you find this L over here on your legend. L is color six. So you get the color L and that means this color goes on that spot. Symbol. Um, stash. Stash, <laughs> stash can be a lot of things, but it is basically all the stuff you have. <laughs> so, like, I did a stash of all the diamond painting kits I had back in March. Um, you can do a cover minder stash. You can have a washi stash. You can have a storage stash. It's your collection of whatever you have collected. Stash. Um, a lot of the content creators you see with diamond painting channels, we have pretty extensive uh, diamond painting stashes. And, um, a lot of you like to see us um, show you everything that's in our stash. And some people, I mean, I mean, there's people who don't even have a channel who have like some serious, serious stashes. I saw a picture on, it was either Instagram or Facebook, and I was like, oh my. And then watching like people like Mindy, um, over on Mindy's Diamond Moment, um, trying to organize her stash. I just, I, I love it. I love it. Stash videos are supposed to be fun. They're not supposed to say, oh, look what I have and you don't have. It's just like, this is what I love. This is what I've collected. Because everybody loves different things. Everybody collects different things. Um, I collected frogs for a very long time. I collect giraffe things. Um, I collect scrapbook 
stuff. I collect art stuff. I collect stationary supplies, if you ask my mother. And when I get into my shoe collection, I like to collect. Just let it go. So I have a stash. That's what a stash is. Wish list. Wish list is um, something you're going to find a lot on like Diamond Art Club, JJ Gym Shop, um, all this stuff. Where it, when you're not ready to buy it, but you don't want to lose it, you can put it in your wish list on your account. And so then when you're uh, wanting to go shopping again, you just... I have quite a few on my Pam Diamond Paintings wish list, my Diamond Art Club wish list, and my Jada Gym Shop wish list. It's just rude. That's what it is right now. It's We have more wants than we have money at the moment. That's what a wish list is. Okay. Now we're quickly going to go over a wish list. So on a lot of our um, shops here, if you go over into your account, it tells you all your stuff. Hers is hiding right here where it says my wish list. So right here, these are all of the canvases that I would like to buy from Jade when I, when I get to it. So, and it's really, really, really easy to add over here on Jade Gym Shop. Let me see. Let's go with the diamond paintings, all new diamond paintings. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we, oh, look at what she's got. So cute. You guys, you guys can't be shopping. I have a problem. We all know that. Okay. So this is actually one I do want. So I'm going to click on this one. I love this. I love this so much. Okay. So I want this. What does the crop look like? That's not bad, but what is it in a 50 by 50? Oh, I think I like that one. So I want it in a crop by 50, a 50 by 50. I want square drill. If you want ABs, you can click here. If you want crystals, you can click here. If you want grid lines, you can click here. I don't want that. I just want it as is. And I'm just going to come down here where it says add to wish list. And now it's on my wish list. Okay. Now, if we're over at um, Pam Diamond Paintings. <laughs> I have an extensive wish list over here, so we take us home. So on her website, up the top where it says my wish list, right next to my account, if you click on that, it is going to bring you to your wish list. And we're not going to talk about this, guys. We're just not going to talk about this. It's excessive, okay? It's excessive. I know it's excessive, but oh my goodness. And if you'll note, there's only 11. The Esh Creative uh, Zodiac. One of them is missing. Hmm. I wonder what's coming to my house. So, there's that. And, oh, I forgot to show you. So, to add one, I, um, I need a shopping. What to do? And Pam's kits are, um, when it says pre-order, they're made to order as well. This kills me. Like, she's up to 602 today. Today is the 11th. 11th. Yeah, 11th, 11th. Okay, so say I want to add this one to my um, wish list. Hers, all I have to do is click this button right here. Boop, boop. And she's on my wish list. Change my mind, click it again. Okay, now we're over here. And I can say no and remove it. And that's so super, super easy. Um, same thing on... Just gonna do one more diamond art club. Oh, that's sad. When you type in a D and diamond art club is the first thing that shows up, it cannot be good. Okay, log me in. Hey, you're successfully logged in. Don't talk to me. Let's see. And I click on my wish list. I actually have two wish lists. I have the stuff I don't have and still want from Ivy Dolomore over here. And this is just my random list of stuff I would like to get. And I've not updated this in a few weeks. So, and like you'll notice a lot of these, it says it get notified. That means it's currently sold out. So I'm waiting for it to come back in stock. Now, to add things to your wish list here, because there's one over here I want added to my wish list. Um, I, there's two. So I want this one in my wish list real bad, real bad. I am in love with this kit. I think it is gorgeous. Okay, just 
excuse me. Oh, right here. A little bitty heart right there. If I click on that, I want to end this one, not that one. Add the list. And now it is on my wish list. If I go back over to where to go, wish list. I click over here. It's now in my favorites. So like on this, this is only my Ivy Dolomores. So I can quickly check and see if any of these are back in stock. If you'll notice, they're all out of stock. So that is how we do wish lists. And that is what a wish list is. Basically is, um, I want these, but they're, I, I want to be able to quickly check on them to see if they're back in stock. Um, because sometimes I miss emails. I'm not going to, I'm not, not, let's get honest. Um, and uh, I don't have to go hunting for them. Because sometimes, like on the, the my other list, um, good night. I can click on this to switch my other list on my favorites. I don't know who the uh, artist is on all of these. I couldn't tell you who this one was. Who is this? This is Erica the Goober. I shouldn't know. But I didn't know off the top of my head. I wouldn't have known to search for it. So I could just click on it. So that is what wish lists are about. I also use them to figure out how much money am I wanting to spend at a certain store and try to allocate it a little better. And trust the process. We are at the last one, guys. Trust the process. Trust the process means sometimes when you're diamond painting, the symbol's going to tell you to pick up a purple. And you're going to look at that area and you're going to look at the purple and you're going to think, why in the hell am I picking up a purple to do this lady's hair? Purple does not go in hair. And I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> what we say in the diamond painting community is trust process. Because it might look purple that you're looking at. But once you put the other diamonds around it, that purple might literally transform before your eyes to appear like a maroonish brown or you 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 just trust the process because normally with a lot of these companies they are hand charted or at least you know gone over by humans and there's a reason for it and it might not always make sense why you're up close doing it but once you step back and take a look from a viewing distance then you're like oh, oh okay I get it now um, like I literally I was doing a girl's because you know how I like to dive and paint the pretty ladies. And it was a woman. And I was trying to do her hair. And she was brunette. And I was using purple. And I was like, out in the actual hell. Because I didn't do, do purple. I did. I, and I got like really got mad for a second. And I said, no, I'm going to trust the process. And once I did it. Uh-huh. If you do the summer panel by Diamond Paint Shop. Trust the process when you get to her hair. And you're putting those maroony purple ones in it it's right and it looks beautiful when it's done but during during the diamond painting process oh my goodness but it, it looks beautiful now so that was the last term thank you so much for showing up to uh, lesson one terminology i hope that you uh, learned a thing or two or refreshed yourself if you needed to um and um or if you have a friend who wants to diamond paint or you're just getting into watching diamond painting YouTube or have a friend who wants to start watching diamond painting YouTube, this is something you can print out so they don't have to sit there and go, what are they talking about for the first couple of weeks? Which is what I did until I figured out what they were discussing. Because when I first started watching YouTube, diamond painting YouTube, I, I had only been diamond painting for like a, two or three Amazon kits. I knew nothing. Um, I ordered my first craft wood kit because I saw a review of it on someone's YouTube that was like that and then one thing led to another now I'm over here making content about diamond painting and so this course is basically what I wish I would have been able to have found back what I wish I would have been able to find back in August September of 2022 so I wasn't stumbling blind trying to figure it out by myself and I watched a lot and lot a lot of videos and but what it seems to be that happens is we forget that everybody doesn't speak the same language and diamond painting has it's it's a whole 
other language. It's four pages, y'all. And I'm sure I'm missing stuff. I'm sure I'm missing stuff. So thank you once again for uh, joining me for terminology at our lesson one. And lesson two will be anatomy. And that will be up, I believe, Thursday. Um, so that's our next, um, our next, our next video lesson is anatomy. So I uh, bid you adieu and hope you all have a wonderful day. If you haven't already subscribed and want to, go ahead and click that button. I'd appreciate it so much. Uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button on your way out, that'd be also greatly appreciated. And leave a comment. Did you learn anything new? Did I forget something? Are you sitting here going, Summer, really? You made me sit through all this and you did not do this? Tell me. Show, help me make this better. So then when I refilm this, hopefully next year, and do Diamond Painting Summer School 2024, that it can be more inclusive and I don't forget something. So if you think if you can think of anything I forgot, let me know. Let me know. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. And until next time, I love y'all. Bye-bye.